Uh, my name is Greg Sadler and uh, I'm a wheelchair athlete in Calgary. I was 21, I was riding my mountain bike in a skateboarding park and I took a bad fall and broke my back, landed on my head, compressed my spine and that did it. Two clubs in Calgary, we have the Calgary Grizzlies and the Calgary Rollers, They're, that's one's a men's team, one's a women's team. And uh, yeah, we do a lot of stuff in the community, like we'll go out and, and uh, promote our sport, go and do demos in different schools and we'll go to the hospital and kind of try and get people involved and just so they can see what, the, what wheelchair basketball is all about. Uh, after I got paralyzed and ended up in a wheelchair, I just wanted to find uh, you know, something I could do, a sport that I could do so I could continue on my life the way I like living it, right? So I saw lots of uh, wheelchair athletes and there was people uh, coming to see me in the hospital and stuff when I was there and they just inspired me to, uh, to start playing. It's everyday life in a wheelchair, it's, it's different, like you have, to, uh, you have to basically relearn your whole life over again, right? So, I mean, when I got hurt, I was pretty young, I was 21, and uh, everything in my life just kind of ended. I, I was in school to be a pilot, and uh, I was really active in sports. Like I said, I was a snowboarder, and I played baseball for UC Dinos, and that just all ended. So, that was, that was a big obstacle, was just finding a way to, you know, to redo everything and live, live your life in a different way, but just to, to carry on. Like the first, I'd say for anybody that's in a, has not necessarily a wheelchair, but has like a life-changing event, so whether you, it's a spinal cord injury or a head injury or maybe an amputation or any number of different things can happen. The first year especially, I find, from talking to people, is it's difficult for a lot of people, but you just have to find a way to live on because life does go on, right? And you just find a way to be positive and happy. I never played basketball. I, pl I think I played, I never played in high school or junior high. I played one year of like community basketball when I was pretty young, like maybe eight or ten, but uh, no, I really actually wasn't a very big fan of basketball, to be honest with you, before I was in a wheelchair, but I love it now. I'm obsessed with it. Went back to university after I uh, got injured, and I have a degree, a business degree, but uh, I've kind of given myself this year just to train really hard so that I can try my best to get to the Paralympics, which are next year in London. So uh, the selection camp for the Paralympics is in about two months, and that's what I'm doing right now full-time is just training to try my hardest to get there. I think it's really important for everyone to be active, whether you have a disability or not, but uh, I think it's especially important for, for people that live in a wheelchair or disabled in some way because we get around uh, with our arms, right? So, and not just pushing yourself in your wheelchair, but also for me, I get around transferring in and out of my car, and so strength in my arms is really important, and uh, wheelchair basketball has allowed me to stay strong and motivate me also to like go to the gym and stay in the best shape that I can. So